worst experience you've ever had in surfing? Well, I can't say that it was one experience, but I have uh, fond, fond memories of Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, who would come into Baker Square when I was 15-ish. Eh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson were the embodiment of all terrible things as a server and their fully grown 40-year-old son. Uh, Mr. Anderson liked to sit in the booths and stick his feet out, attempting to trip any servers that walked by with large trays. Uh, they would steal all of the free stuff on the tables. So, like, jelly packets and the peanut butter and the butter, and often they would come in and eat nothing but saltine crackers and ketchup. We once had to kick them out because they stole a table that we were attempting to seat the day before Thanksgiving. You know, old people in their seats at Baker Square, they get a little crazy. Uh, yeah, they were, they were a joyous couple to be around. Um, yeah. All right, the worst experience I've ever had in the service uh, industry. I was delivering food, I delivered pizzas, and uh, I got up to this guy's house. It's the middle of the winter. It's negative 10 degrees out easily. There's snow everywhere. And I walk up and I knock on this guy's door. And the lady in the room looks over, presumably this guy's girlfriend, as he's walking to the kitchen, looks me right in the eyes. I'm like, cool, you know, I'm here. She walks in the kitchen, she, take, she takes her right, and I can't see where she's going. I'm assuming she's going to pick up her checkbook or her, you know, get her wallet or something. Walks over, nothing, and walks back. I can see her nothing in hand in the kitchen with her boyfriend who is cleaning off these wine glasses. Sets them down, pours both of themselves full wine glasses. They drink both of them. Then I, but I've knocked like four other times since then. And the guy has looked me dead in the eye. Like he knows I'm there. And uh, he finally comes up to me and opens the door and says, hey, sorry for the wait. Yeah, sorry for the wait. Fuck you too, dude. So uh, he hands me the money for the pizza and he tips me change. He gives me 32 cents after he made me wait outside in negative 10 degree weather for about four minutes. Fuck that guy. Uh, one day I was working at Parkway Pizza. This was like three years ago, probably three years ago. And it was the winter time, I remember the winter time. And it was just me up front, and these two black guys came in. And they had like the little like ski masks or whatever on their face. And they pretended to look at the menu and they were like, yeah, let me get, uh, let me get, let me get. And then all of a sudden there was a gun over my chest. And I was like, what, what, this is really, this is not cool. And I was like, dude, really? There's like 80 fucking dollars in this fucking register. What a dickless piece of shit, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking, I was pissed. And uh, yeah, so I kindly opened the register for him and I gave him the less than $100 we had in there. And then he went on his merry little way with his dumb ass friend. Yeah, we called the cops, they came. They didn't do anything. We laughed, we cried, we ate some cookies, that was that. And I was, I was glad that nothing serious happened. It was just a little scare, just a little scare. I joined a martial arts school. What the? Right? <laughs>